once you have defined the tunnel axis, the next step is to define the theoretical profiles that will belong to that axis. For each tube or shaft heading defined in the project tree, you will see a design node. If you expand this design node, you will see a construction stages node. Construction stages in Amberg Tunnel are used to organize tube and shaft designs into specific stages. For example, the first stage of the project might be the excavation stage. The theoretical design associated with this stage would be different to the theoretical design of the next stage, which for example may be shotcrete. I will go ahead and right click on this node and add a construction stage. I will call the first construction stage excavation and then hit OK. Now when we expand the excavation construction stage we can see four elements, theoretical profiles, sections, slopes and block definitions. Double click on theoretical profiles to open the editor. Theoretical profiles can be designed manually in the editor or they can be imported from a file. I will first go ahead and create my first profile manually. To do this hit add and now we will need to give the profile a name. I will call this profile excavation type 1. The next step is to specify whether the theoretical profile is tilting with longitudinal slope or always vertical. This diagram illustrates the concept. Now we can start adding elements to define the theoretical profile. We have two input types, arcs and straights. The 00xy intersection shows the heading axis position. We will therefore build our theoretical profile around this 00, zero point. I will go ahead and define this first segment as a straight with a horizontal offset on the x-axis of 0 and on the y-axis of minus 1.070. For the end xy position of this element, I will enter minus 2.199 for the x and minus 1.070 for the y. Now that the first segment has been defined, I will go ahead and add the next segment. I want this section to be an arc running in this direction. My starting xy position is correct as it was inherited from the ending xy position of the previous element. I will go ahead and add ending xy values of minus 2.278 for the x and 4.582 for the y. I will give this arc a radius of 6.180. I will fast forward the video to add the next two segments which will take the arc up to the center line point. Once half of the profile is complete there is a convenient mirror button which will complete the profile. Now that our first theoretical profile is complete, I will go ahead and save the project. Note that if two elements are not connected correctly, you will receive a position error and a warning flag. If you have profiles created outside of Amberg Tunnel, you can go ahead and import them. To do this, right click anywhere in the editor and select Import. Here I have a number of import files in DXF format. I will go ahead and import a few of them. Once imported you can review them, looking out for any warning flags or position errors. It is also important to inspect the position of the profile with respect to the alignment, represented by the 0, zero point. If a profile needs to be moved, you can right click anywhere in the editor and choose Shift Profile. Also you can change the dimensions of the profile by choosing Inflate Deflate. I will go ahead and save the project at this point. As well as importing definitions, you can also export definitions created in Amberg Tunnel. To do this, right click on the profile and choose Export. The export format is DXF. As well as DXF export, there are also text and graphic reporting outputs. Now that we have defined our theoretical profiles, the next step is to define our theoretical sections from these profiles.